Hi, I am Balaji Sampat. I have been teaching physics and math for over 20 years and many of my students have done very well in both uh, IITs, NEET, BITS, a lot of these uh, entrance exams. And my main focus while teaching is looking at where do students have difficulty and then looking at ways to address that difficulty. So we have compiled a lot of these different techniques that we have developed as a process through this uh, process. We have compiled them into a huge number of videos as well as workbooks. And that's basically the core behind the new mentored learning program that we have launched. This mentored learning program focuses on active learning. Because if you're looking at any of these uh, complicated entrance exams, the main thing you need is skill building. And skill building, if you look at skill building, skill building is not something that can happen just by doing one thing. It requires you to understand the concept very well, but that's not enough. You also need to be able to apply. So if you want to apply, how to apply, you need techniques. So you have got to learn techniques and the te way to learn techniques is to apply them to a question and then see whether you are able to solve. And then of course you need a lot of practice. So all of these have to go together for you to build your skill. And ultimately skill building is the key foundation on which you can crack any of these exams. So let us look at what the mentored learning course actually has. It has online lessons every week. Okay, weekly we will send you an online lesson for each subject. So if for example you take physics, chemistry and mathematics, you will have one lesson for physics, one for chemistry and one for mathematics. This weekly lesson is going to require something like five to six hours of work. Why does it take that much time? Because you will have to do lectures. The lectures will explain the key concepts, about three to four lectures. Okay, so you will be spending maybe a maximum of about three times 30 minutes or four times 30 minutes. You're talking about maximum one hour, one and a half hours, two hours of time on the lectures. That is not the important part alone. That is very important to start off. But the most critical part is the solved examples. Every solved example comes with a video. Okay, now this video, don't see the video. Why am I saying don't see the video? Because first, after you see the lecture, try the solved example, solve it yourself, struggle with it for 5 minutes, 7 minutes, 10 minutes. If you got it right, enter the answer, it will tell you whether you are right or wrong. If it's wrong, it will ask you to try again. Only after you have tried your level best, then you should see the video. Why? Because when you are seeing the lecture, you are learning the broad principle. When you are getting to the solved example, you try the problem. The first step you manage to get, second step you manage to get, third step you are stuck. You want to know that you are stuck at the third step. When you see the solution, that will say, aha, now I know, oh, that's what I should do. So the solved example is actually training and building your skill. So this is very, very important. So usually every lesson would have something like 15, 20 solved example videos. But before the video, you must try the question, enter the answer, then see the video. Now, that's not enough because after you have done this, then you need to look at practice exercises. More questions like the solved examples, slightly different variation. This will make sure that this concept, this particular topic, you have become extremely thorough with. So you have to do this week after week after week. Okay, one year, 50 weeks, you'll have about 50 modules. Two years, totally you'll have about 100 modules. So basically, that is the idea of the online lesson. Now, every online lesson comes with a workbook, printed workbook. So books like this, they are small workbooks. Okay, so I'll take one and show you. So if I look at this workbook, this workbook matches the online lesson. So the way this works is that, so like for example, this says 12.06, that basically will be the sixth lesson in the online course. So if you see, there is a section for you to look at the video lectures, take notes, okay? And why take notes? Is there already in the video? Because when you write, your brain registers it much better. And then the solved example, each of the solved examples is given with space, work it out here, enter the answer, then see the video solution. You have to remember that ultimately active learning is critical because this is what is going to help you build your skill. So active learning is a very, very essential component. So once you have finished one lecture and the solved examples, four, five solved examples for each lecture, next lecture, solved example, next lecture, solved examples. So maybe you have done about three to four lectures like that and the about 20 to 15 to 20 solved examples. After that comes the section which is practice. So if I go here, 
the last 15 questions here will be practice questions very similar to this except now when you solve you solve one by one and then you can look at the solution for it okay so the important part is that every question that you solve in one workbook or one online lesson basically the same thing it matches right so you will be doing something like 40 to 50 questions at the end you will be really thorough with that one topic that is the essence of skill building okay so let us say that you have had some doubts you tried all this you did the workbook you completed the workbook you finished the lesson online we will be able to track whether you have actually seen every solved example entered the answer all of that so from our side we'll be tracking okay but once you have done this then we'll assign the next lesson to you so each week you'll be doing one lesson in physics one in chemistry one in math depending on or biology depending on what subjects you have chosen okay so you can pick you can pick whatever subject you feel like uh, which are you preparing for but let us say that you have a doubt on the topic so you did this topic or maybe even the earlier topic or later topic you need a place where you can ask doubts you need a mentor who will be able to guide you or let us say you came to this solved example and then you got stuck you say that no i'm not able to finish this problem i don't understand what is going on whom do you talk to you talk to your mentor so we have a doubt clearing group where you can post your doubts we have a rule the rule is after you have tried the question take a snapshot of the question that you are working on it may be wrong there is absolutely no problem but send us your working we will definitely send you back an answer okay and with a mentor will basically follow up track and help you out each week our mentor will be contacting you will be sending you a report of what you have completed what you need to do we'll find out whether there is a difficulty that you are facing okay so this is very very personalized support mentor support and the doubt clearing groups are really useful because then not only are you learning with the mentor and with our support you are also learning with other friends like yours who are also working and asking doubts right so then together everybody grows every month you would get like four books like this for a subject once you have finished that so that means you have finished four topics which is a lot of work you would have probably done something like 150 200 questions now it's time for a test so every month you would have a small test based on the topics that you have learned there will be solutions for that test and then we will also discuss the performance where you need to improve what you need to uh, do in terms of enhancing your preparation the point to keep in mind is iit neat je mains bitsat all of these entrance exams are reasonably competitive and very very difficult exams you cannot do this preparing for like one month or two months you need to prepare over a year two year kind of a period so if you're talking about a two year preparation you are talking about 100 weeks it's a lot of time now the only way really to learn and be sure about this kind of uh, course is to prepare every day so learning every day and spending about two hours every day is very critical because once you do this and get into this practice whether there's an exam tomorrow or not does not matter learn every day you will definitely be able to clear these entrance exams so every day coming and working on that week's lesson completing that week's lesson following up asking doubts that you have continuously learning and studying if you did this for the 11th and 12th standard you will find that there is no way you cannot clear you will definitely be able to clear every entrance exam that you are preparing for